How can this army hope to win this war without proper discipline and order? Your Excellency, I am in complete agreement with you. I have left my native Prussia to join your cause. If you give me the opportunity, I think I will be able to demonstrate that I can be of great assistance to this army. Well, you are highly reg regarded by Dr. Franklin, whom you met in France. And uh, you were sent to me by Congress. When you are finished settling in, I would like you to speak with my officers, inspect the soldiers' huts and equipment, and report back to me with your recommendations. Your Excellency, in anticipation of your request, I have already done so. I find that this army is deficient in everything except spirit. Mm. I am convinced that under these circumstances, no European army could have held together. So, what is to be done? Wow. So General Washington seems to be trusting this German officer to help him reshape the army. Yeah, Steuben does kind of come out of nowhere, doesn't he? Well, General Washington recognizes talent. He picks men like Alexander Hamilton, Nathaniel Green, and John Lawrence to serve important roles in the army. Right, and don't forget the Marquis de Lafayette and Louis Duportail. This revolution is a very big deal, not just in America, but across Europe as well. The colonies are throwing off their king. And Europe was made up of countries ruled by kings. Right. So this revolution attracts people from all over Europe. Not only the Marquis de Lafayette, but von Steuben from Prussia. They all bring different things to the table, and Washington is smart enough to put them to use. We will start with the musket drill. Attention. On my command. Shoulder, arms. Hard to believe that these soldiers were having so much trouble. Well, you have to remember there was no standardized way to fire a gun, or train, march, or even stand correctly. Yankee Doodle! Yankee Dunkov! So, attention! Present arms! Shoulder arms! Make ready! Take aim! Fire! Kreuz, Million and Donnerwetter. Sie sind nicht Arme, das ist ein, ein Kindergarten. Die hat Tuten und Blasen, keine Ahnung. We try again. Noch einmal. <clears throat> These soldiers still look pretty pathetic. I know. Give the Baron a chance. He arrived at Valley Forge on February 23rd, 1778, and got right to work. By the end of March, look at the change in the soldiers. I have been asked by General von Steuben to uh, witness the progress he has made with our men. As you know, I have been working on the supply issues, and I am pleased to report that there has been some progress made in that regard. I am hoping that uh, if he has made progress with these men, he will be able to help the entire Continental Army. General. General. Attention. Shoulder, arms. Take aim! Fire! Wow, that was so much better. Yeah, it looked easy there. But General von Steuben taught the soldiers 13 steps to load and fire that gun, and then shortened it to the four steps you just saw there. And General von Steuben didn't just work on musket training. He taught the soldiers everything, from how to march, to even how to stand in formation. And Washington was pleased with the results. Baron von Steuben. In these last four weeks, you have made great progress. Thank you, Your Excellency. There is much more to be done. I hope I have lived up to your expectations, and with your permission, I should like to continue. <laughs> Baron, you have exceeded my expectations. Therefore, I have decided to appoint you Inspector General of the entire Continental Army. You have full authority to proceed with your training. Thank you, Excellency. I shall proceed at once. <laughs> On behalf of Pico and Valley Ford, we hope you enjoyed your Pico podcast journey through history.